to be a slightly different video because I have a project that I have been procrastinating for a very long time. I've been carrying around this box of half finished tiles since I believe 2020. Originally it was meant for my old studio and they have all, you know, different colors on them and you put them all together to make a Pottery to the People sign that I was going to display outside of my studio shop in Berlin. But then the pandemic hit and I just never got around to finishing it and then I knew I was leaving. So I'm not really sure what's in here anymore. Like I don't know if I even have enough tiles. I also have some tiles that are bisqued. I also don't have these glazes anymore. I was able to dig up my original sketches so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. So I'm literally talking about like a mosaic style sign. Isn't that fun? So let's see if we can make this. Okay, so that took like an hour to just lay everything out and it's very clear that we have some gaps. So here are all of my bisque tiles and it seems like all we really need to fill in the gaps are is the white. Actually, we have plenty of blue, in fact, way more blue than we need. And we have plenty of these half tiles. Before I bisque these, I do actually need to clean them because they're honestly filthy. I don't know what happened to this box, but it is disgusting. I don't even know if this is going to be enough for the white tiles. I really don't feel like counting them right now. So I think what I'm going to do is just glaze them and then we see if we need to make more tiles. That feels way less boring to me to just go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm telling you guys right now, I believe this is not going to be enough white tiles. We already know that we have enough blue tiles. We already know that we have enough half tiles. I think that I'm gonna to need to make some more white tiles. I'm hoping not, but on the plus side, if I do, then I'll at least get to show you guys how I made these tiles. Pros and cons, pros and cons. <laughs> Let's start laying these out. reached the end of the white tiles. It's looking so cool, but yeah, we're, we ran out of tiles, so I have to make some more tiles. But before I do that, I am going to just do some math and <laughs> count so I don't have to just keep guessing. Okay, I'll admit it's a little bit more than I expected. I have to make 187 more tiles. <laughs> 187 more tiles. It's a slightly bigger project than I expected. I did, I have a calculation on here from when I was first starting this project and it's 572 tiles. 
that it took to make this whole thing. So it's honestly just a small portion that's left. I'm determined to finish this though. Oh, I hope I have the measurements for how big the original tiles are because honestly I don't remember and it's not written on here. Hopefully I have that somewhere. <laughs> Otherwise I'm gonna have to do an additional experimentation. So I wanted to say I'm not going to say that this is the best way to make tiles. This is how I made tiles and I thought that it would be pretty easy. We're gonna be doing it with hand building. We're gonna make a bunch of slab tiles. Okay, let's do it. I think these are workable. It looks really firm to you probably, but there's still a little bit of give to it and that's fine. I want them to be firm, but I basically, I don't want to bend them at all. I, I just want to be able to cut them. So it's actually good that they're quite firm. So what's more important is that I found my original plans for the tiles. This is my sketchbook from 2019. <laughs> this is a four year project. What's important is that I found the original measurement that I made for the tiles. So if you measure the tiles now, they're basically exactly three centimeters, which I must have calculated um, on purpose, but that makes the tiles an awkward 3.4 centimeters at cutting. So <laughs> um, that's what we're gonna be cutting today, 3.4 by 3.4. <laughs> and you can see my original, some of my original drawings. Kind of cute. Sometimes when I go back into my old sketchbooks, I literally can't understand what the fuck I was talking about. And then sometimes it's like, oh, this is an idea I had four years ago and I still haven't even gotten there yet. And I'm still like thinking about it in the meantime. Like, it's not like I forgot about the idea. It's kind of cool. So my tiles are done. I'm just keeping them under some plastic right now so they don't dry out anymore. And now it's time to cut the bevel. The trick is to not cut your fingers. First one done. Okay, it's like three hours later, four. God, I don't know, time isn't real. I've finished the tiles, all these babies on this board, plus a few extras. My fingers are like numb. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's worth it. I do think that they look really nice. But of course the beveling is completely optional if you are making this. You might want to like sponge the edges at least so that they're not super sharp. So I don't really know why I decided to do it, but that's a question for 2019 Maya, not me right now. Yeah, so I'm just gonna let them dry out under pressure so that they dry nice and flat and I'll see you again when they're bisked.
The new tiles are finished. <laughs> I'm realizing I did make them a little different than the other ones. What I think I did on the other ones is I sponged them, so I smoothed them out a lot. These are kind of sharp. I think it's gonna be okay. They're also like a millimeter larger. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. I have a giant plywood board, some grout, and some PVA glue. I've done a little research on the internet about making mosaics, and I believe that this is all I really need besides some tools. And believe it or not, the people on the internet, they were literally just using PVA glue to secure the tiles. This is something that's not going to be like functional, right? This is going to be a decorative sign. So as far as I understand, you don't actually need mortar to fix it. So you can literally just use glue. And then like they recommended like a cheap craft glue, which is what this is. And then I have some grub. Here's the deal. The new tiles are just a touch bigger than the original tiles. Say one millimeter larger. I'm like, I'm worried about, like as I was laying it out in the test runs, they started to get like wonky after a while because each tiny little imperfection in the alignment would just get bigger and bigger, like a ripple, right? So what I'm thinking about doing is actually, I'm gonna use the larger size and I'm going to draw a grid on my board, line them up within the grid, and then it should be good, I hope. <laughs> and I decided to get a fairly sturdy board. This is one and a half centimeter, which I believe is like three quarter inch. This is five eighth inch plywood. So one and a half centimeters uh, because it's probably a little bit overkill, honestly. I just really wanted this to not be wiggly at all because that is disaster for mosaics. And I'm probably gonna need to cut it down because I didn't measure perfectly. But what I wanted to do is start laying out the grid and then we can see where the edges are and deal with that when that time comes. Okay, looks like all the new ones are 3.1. Okay, I'm gonna say that the tiles are 3.1 and then how thick do we want our grout to be? Maybe two millimeters? So if the tiles are 3.1, then each grid square needs to be 3.3 squared. Okay, let's draw it on. So I found this piece of scrap wood that I can use so I don't have to measure 100,000 times. I'm just gonna measure on here and then I can just transfer them and not use the ruler anymore. Okay, so I don't know what happened, but my board is too small. It's like one tile too small. I've been working on this project for three plus years now. I'm not about to do this incorrectly. I want to do this right. So that means I have to get a new board. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. I double checked the measurements. The wood supplier cut precisely. So it's not their fault. It's literally my fault. Yep. <laughs> we have wood that is hopefully the right size now. It's definitely bigger. Okay, let's draw the grid. our grid. So let's start placing these tiles. I'm excited.
I'm obsessed with this. It's looking so good. It fits everything. The spacing looks right. I'm super stoked. Oh, they're on there. It's heavy. It's heavy. I'm going to let it dry out really well. And then we're going to come back in with our grout and then we can hang it. And then we just sit back and admire. I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Things could still go wrong, but I'm, I'm super happy with where we're at right now. Looks good. It's been about an hour and um, the glue is not completely dry, but it always, it all has this like skin on it. Um, so I think the glue is pretty contained and the tiles seem pretty firm. Like they look good. Um, so I'm going to use this thing. Um, this is going to push the grout in. Hopefully it's not too much pressure. I'm a little worried that some of these tiles might pop up as I work because um, a couple of them, not most of them not, but a couple of them did warp in the process of firing. So, um, and I don't know like which ones, right? So, so hopefully they won't pop up as I'm putting pressure on them. I mixed up the grout and I mixed it up just according to the package's instructions. It's just a white grout that's been designed for ceramic tiles. I am worried. It's gonna be okay though. I've done this before. I've grouted before. These stakes feel so much higher though somehow. Should we go for it? Let's go. So now this is looking really messy and you can't hardly see the tiles anymore. Don't worry, our next step is to remove some of that grout back. So I've got my big sponge here and I'm gonna take some clean water. Okay, now I'm going to start wiping it back. So I think I am going to need to let the grout dry out a little bit um, before I come back in with a sponge to clean up the tiles because like I could just keep wiping this forever and like the grout is just gonna keep coming off because it's gonna come off from in between the tiles. Okay, I'll be back in maybe an hour. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Um, I've got some fresh water and now I'm going to finish up. So the grout is definitely still wet, but it's def it's firmer than it was before. And you can see there's sort of like a sheen over the tiles. You can especially see over the darker ones, like that's when it's starting to get dry. And I've heard that if you let it dry out overnight, you're going to have a tougher time getting that off later. Um, so I wanna really remove that now. You can see there's still a little bit coming off. Thinking each time as I swipe now, I'm gonna flip the sponge and then you can see it's actually getting really clean. This is looking so good. Like the more I work on it, the more I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so easy, so fun, so nice. Like there's no reason why you guys can't handle this project. Like I don't know anything about making tiles. These are the first tiles I ever made and they look amazing. I mean, I think, <laughs> if I'm allowed to say that, I think that they look so good. So next step is to get this hung up on the wall, but I think I'm going to do that tomorrow because it's getting quite late and Peanut has a vet appointment. She's fine. She just needs to get, you know, top ups on vaccines and stuff. So, um, see you tomorrow. Oh, and the grout needs to dry. Super excited about this. I bought these heavy hangers. I also got these stickies. I'm thinking I'm gonna put the heavy hangers on the edges here and then I'll use the stickies so that it's not tilting outward. And I'm hoping that that's enough. I 
actually know how this wall is constructed. It's not very easy to hang things. What it is is drywall over a pretty thick layer of foam and then behind that is cement or brick or something. When I drilled these shelves in, I used this thick of screws. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna have to do. And then the screws are gonna hook on to the hanging thing and that's, that's how it's gonna hang. I put two of these plugs. My thought is I put two in because it's so deep. Oop! <laughs> because it's so deep. Much more solid. Okay, right, we're just gonna try it. Well, it hangs, it's not straight. Or is it? Is it straight? Is it straight? No, it's not straight. Two hours later. That was a little bit of a struggle. So what I ended up doing was I actually just moved the bracket that's attached to the tile board down. So it was half a centimeter too high and I just moved it down and now it's straight, you know? Problem solving. <laughs> it's totally secure. I still need to add the gummies on the back. Wow, this has been such a long time coming. I'm so proud. Like I've already said a hundred times how obsessed I am with this tile board. I'm so proud of it. I think it looks so nice. Finally adding a little bit of something to the walls, like a little bit of art in here. I, I feel like this place is finally becoming my own. So, that's it for this video. <laughs> I hope that this was a fun project for you. I hope that I've inspired y'all to make your own tile projects. It sounds very intimidating. It's really easy. You guys can do this. And if you guys have any questions, you can let me know down in the comments. I hope that y'all have a wonderful and creative day. Bye friends. <laughs>